What I watch that I'm obsessed with right now is New Amsterdam on NBC. That show is so good. I mean, I find myself sobbing. Also, Grey's Anatomy because 35 seasons later and it still holds up. It's classic. Uh, what I watched that I'm obsessed with, I, I, it took me two days with Stranger Things. Oh, yes. I actually got to watch it with Gaten Matarazzo, who was pausing and like explaining the stuff uh, to me because we were working on a musical at the time. And it was probably the best way to ever watch Stranger Things. He's like, so when I shot this, uh, we were in this tunnel and it was like the coolest thing ever. My siblings were there. It was amazing. Hi, I'm Skylar. Hi, I'm Alex. <laughs> and this is what we watch. Hi, I'm Skylar Aston, And I'm Alex Newell. And this is what we watch. Something that I watch that's my comfort food is Queer Eye. I love those guys. They, they're so uplifting. The message that they're bringing to the world is just such kindness and positivity and self-improvement. I just love shows like that. God, I love that answer. What I watch when I need comfort food is The Devil Wears Prada. That says a lot about me. <laughs> <laughs> you are fierce. No. <laughs> I'm awful. <laughs> I feel like heartfelt, heartfelt, heartfelt. We're just like Meryl. <laughs> Meryl. And also I feel like an assistant who yes. needs to get her coffee. Yes. What I watch that might surprise some people is WWE. That I'm a huge oh, it gets, <laughs> Alex knows me very well. I love the pageantry. I love the storylines. It's my male soap opera. It's it's I, I watch it every week. I love wrestling. A cool telenovela. Uh, what I watch that might surprise people, it won't surprise anybody, is The Crown. I'm obsessed. When I say obsessed, I mean I'm obsessed with the monarchy in England. I mean, it's amazing. Like, had Meghan not stolen my man, I would have had The Crown. Um, it's never too late. It's never too late. I'm trying to have a child soon so that <laughs> my child can uh, get married to um, the little prince. Yes. Who will eventually be the king? Mm -hmm. So, um, now would that make you queen mother finally? That make me queen mother. <laughs> so, I'm, that's my goal in life. Mine too now. <laughs> what I watch when I can't fall asleep. What I watch when I can't fall asleep. What puts me to sleep? Honestly, the Kardashians. The Kardashians. Like I, I would. E is always. E is really going to be turned into K soon. It's just going to be go from E Entertainment to K Entertainment. Um. Yeah, the Kardashians put me directly to sleep, and something about their voices just lull me to sleep. Yeah, I, I, I would probably switch from E to, I'm more of a Bravo guy. I, so any like housewives, any sort of real housewives for me, it's just like the, the, the ambient noise and kind of the nasal tones that I'm used to in my New York household. That kind of helps. It's like a, it's like a beautiful live podcast yeah, that's of chaos. Was, mm -hmm. What I watched that reminds me of my childhood, I still say WWE. I'm a huge I'm fan. I'm so sorry. Well, the, w, the WWE Network, because because they have all the documentaries of, of, okay, of what yes, I was yes, watching yes, yes. when I was then. So I get to see what was happening behind the curtain when all my heroes were wrestling. And I get to see kind of what was going on behind the circus. And it's thrilling. So that reminds me of my childhood. Um, what I watch when I want to be reminded of my childhood is the Cheetah Girls. Mmm because I didn't want to be one of them. Okay. <laughs> Actually, what I watch is The Proud Family. Mm. When Beyonce and um, the other girls that were in that group with her, <laughs> yeah, they sang the title of that show. And um, it reminds me of my childhood being black and growing up in a house. So proud. Period. <laughs>